Number three, biblical beauty is precious in God's sight. We see that there that God says that it is of great worth in His sight there in verse 4. What does that mean that it's precious in God's sight? Girls, that means that it's rare. Okay, something that's precious is something that is rare, something that is valuable, okay, something that God prizes. And so what that's saying is that biblical beauty is rare. But girls, let me tell you something. Biblical beauty may be rare, but it's not extinct. You just don't see it much in our culture, but it's not extinct. It's just rare, and it's precious in God's sight. In Psalm 27, 4, the psalmist says this, One thing, one thing I have asked from the Lord. Now listen, if you could ask God one thing, what would that one thing be? I don't know what that would be, but here's what the psalmist says. The one thing, if I could only ask God one thing, here's what I would ask. And this is incredible. One thing I've asked from the Lord and that I shall not only ask, I'm going to pursue it. I'm going to seek it. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord. Girls, how can you become a biblically beautiful woman? How can you become a biblically beautiful young woman? Well, girls, you've got to become obsessed. You've got to become passionate about pursuing one thing, and that is passionate about your relationship with God, okay? Getting up close and personal with Him. Have you ever, have you ever received the gift of salvation from Jesus Christ so that you can have a connection to God and so that you can behold God and, be, and begin to understand and know Him a way that you can know His standard? Have you ever, have you ever Ask Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior. That's the first step in becoming a biblically beautiful woman, and it is essential, okay? It's essential. The culture's definition of beauty, this ever-changing definition that just makes us want to dress this way one way, look like this person one way. Listen, all this originated, I really do believe, this lie about what beauty really is, it originated back here. You know, sometimes we think that the original sin occurred in the Garden of Eden when Adam and Eve sinned. But girls, the original sin began in the heavenly host when Satan's heart got all proud and he was the original sinner, okay? And guess what took him down? Getting all about himself and getting all about, look how beautiful I am. And girls, ever since that time, I believe what took him down, okay, what took him down was him getting so proud about his beauty. What took him down is what he wants to use to take you down. He wants you to become all obsessed, just like the culture is, about the perfect size, the perfect weight, the perfect makeup, the perfect clothes. This is the definition of beauty this year. Next year it's going to change, and that's all you're about. And girls, that is shallow, shallow, shallow. And not only is it shallow, it is a lie and it will absolutely spiritually corrupt you. He wants to use exactly what took him down to take you and to take me down as well.